Risk in the wake of a deadly accident that killed two teenagers, people along one road are calling for major changes tonight. We're talking about Jatan Road in Cornelius, all the way from West Catawba Avenue down to Lake Norman. News Channel 36 reporter Alex Reed took our mobile newsroom to that stretch of road to find out what's being done. It was the deaths of John and James Herbert several months ago that reignited neighbors' calls for change along Jaton Road. Well, if you don't lower the speed limit, you're going to kill people. Cornelius Town Commissioner Jim Benzman says he's heard a number of complaints about the road, including the speed limits there. The biggest controversy is whether to reduce the 45 speed limit to 35. How do people feel about that? The town's mayor created a transportation advisory board to look into all of the issues, like safety at the crosswalks. Right now, there's nothing to stop traffic for a pedestrian who wants to cross the road to Chaton Park, and that's something a majority of the people surveyed say they want to see change. But even when the town does decide what changes to make, the state still has to agree with their plan. And if they don't, then we can't make the changes. That's because the state owns the road, and the town of Cornelius can't afford to change that. Due to the, the condition of the road, the underlying condition under the asphalt, um, is something we wouldn't want to take on. And some of the changes the state would support could cost the town several hundred thousand dollars, something the town might not be able to afford. Well, signs for the Jaton Park crosswalk will be installed next week. They were ordered several weeks ago, and there are several other inexpensive changes the town could implement to improve safety, but there will be a public meeting tonight at 7 p.m. in the Cornelius Town Hall to get a better idea of what changes are truly needed for the town and the people. Live in the newsroom, Alex Reed, News Channel 36.